I just jumped a giant buck. Good morning, everybody. It is October 11th, and the temperature is finally cooling down. It's 55 this morning, and that's as that's the coolest weather I've had all year, um, all, all hunting season. Uh, it's a Thursday, so I'm going to go out for a quick uh, hunt before work. Where I'm going isn't really a, a high impact spot, but it's a place that I get into really quick. I can hunt the first hour and a half of daylight back out of there and go back to work. So hopefully uh, I'm able to get some deer on film this morning, maybe even have some come in close enough to get a shot. Thank y'all for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below. So y'all thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, I'll see y'all when I'm up in the tree. All right, everybody, I'm set up in the stand. It's just starting to get daylight. On my way in, I walked right past two does. I was about 300 yards from here. I don't think they knew what I was. I was I was downwind from them, and I was using my red headlight. So I don't I don't think that they saw saw me or heard me. I was pretty quiet. Maybe I got past them. Y'all stay tuned. This is sure to be a, a good morning. I'm, I'm hoping to see quite a few deer this morning. I got into some does this morning. I think I ended up seeing five does. Uh, I had one come by real close, but I'm pretty sure it was just like a four or five month old fawn. And the mama was around somewhere close, but I don't like to take does that in October um, that still have fawns with them. So I didn't get a shot at anything this morning, but I finally got some deer on film. It's uh, my third sit of the year, and my first two sits I didn't get anything on film. So I'm excited to finally get some deer on film, have a little bit of footage to show y'all. So all in all, it was a good morning. I'm planning on, see today's Thursday. Sunday, I'm gonna drive up to my land in Oklahoma that I have permission to hunt on. So hopefully Sunday we, we really get in some deer. That property has some great deer on it, and uh, the pressure is, is fairly low so stay tuned I'll have some more stuff coming Sunday in Oklahoma well I made it to Oklahoma it's a kind of a humid 72 degrees today I was hoping for nicer weather but this is the cards have been dealt as you can see I don't have sticks and, and saddle right now what I'm gonna do it's kind of ground hunt, still hunt my way through this place. First, I'm gonna check the edges of the field, see if I can find if the deer are still feeding in the field or not. And once I find an area that the deer are feeding on heavily in the field or underneath the pecans, pecan trees, I'm gonna work my way back in, hopefully find some bedding. So, that's the plan. So I've never seen this before, but this area has been really wet. This is, was a cornfield. 
a month ago, six weeks ago when he cut it. And this thing has grown up so thick. It's unbelievable. But look at these fruit top things growing up in this field. They look like pumpkins and watermelons. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. And there's deer poop out here. So the deer are definitely feeding out here. I'm gonna keep stumbling through this jungle. I know that it's super muddy, but look at that. That's a big track. So I dropped my pack by that willow tree back there. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm gonna hunt this evening. Now I've got two and a half hours before hunting. So I'm gonna go scout for a little while, but I'm not gonna push back into that area right there because oof, I got a huge set of tracks coming out of there. I'm gonna try to come in maybe an hour and a half before dark and set up on that spot. They're coming out and feeding on whatever's growing up in this field. Looks like watermelons. So I'm just gonna keep pushing back in here, do some scouting on the, on the opposite side of this wood lot for, for later in the season. I just jumped a giant buck. I'm gonna turn this camera around. I was walking down this transition here and there's this point on the willow right there. <coughs> he was bedded right there. Huge buck. This is where that buck was just bedded down. Underneath these willows. He's got it real clean in here. Got a rub on that tree right there. He cannot see much out of here. It's so thick. He can't see much. But it worked for him. He didn't jump up till I was 10 yards away. Big buck. Really big. I'm gonna try to devise a game plan. He's not gonna be in this bed. He ran that way. I think he's been bedding in here and going that direction like that out to where I've caught those big tracks. But this is definitely where he was bedded. Well, I'm set out here by this willow tree. I've put this kind of makeshift blind up on the back side for a little extra cover. But really this is gonna be a, a spook him or kill him. Super aggressive move here. All the other cover is just too thick. I won't be able to get a shot through anything. This is the only place I can get a shot through. If he comes out, and he's just kind of moseying along, not being very suspicious. He could mosey right by 25 yards and I could kill him. Or he could poke his head out and say, what is that? And, and take off, so it could go either way. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, it's a good chance I can kill this deer tonight. Well, it's starting to rain. I'm about to have to cover the camera up. <clears throat> This is such a dilemma. I'm, I'm not worried about getting wet, but if he does come out and it's raining, is it ethical to shoot a deer when it's raining, knowing that you might lose the blood trail and may not be able to make a clean recovery? It's a catch-22. I'm two hours from home. I drove all this way. So, y'all comment below. Shoot a deer while it's raining. Is it ethical, unethical? I'm gonna stick it out and see if the rain quits. Right now it's real light, so we'll see how it goes. Today was a wild day. First of all, this area was a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. And usually, I don't mind thick. But I hate tag-alongs. I think I'm gonna have to throw those clothes away. Um, I'm gonna try to scrape them all off. Uh, we'll see when we get home. 
And then second off, I jumped that buck out of his bed, which is a great thing. It's great for future intel. And I really think that the way that he ran, he would have rebedded, and then I think he would have came out where I suspected him to. But then the weather just turned to crap. Started raining. First it was a light drizzle, and then it got a little harder and a little harder, and then it started to really rain. And at that point, I don't mind getting wet, but it was raining hard enough, and that area is so thick that if I would have shot him and he would have ran into that thick stuff, the blood would have washed straight down to the ground, and I would have never seen it. And if it wasn't a good shot, I may have never found that deer in that thicket down there. At some point, it has to be an ethical decision. So I decided between not wanting to ruin my camera gear and not wanting to lose a deer, um, I backed out of there. Overall, I think today was a success. I saw a ton of sign. That area has got some good bucks in it for sure. And uh, I jumped one, a mature buck, out of his bed. I don't think that he necessarily knew what I was. Um, I don't think he smelled me. I really don't think that he saw me because I went and like got in his bed and looked around. I think he just heard me and could hear me coming and was waiting for me to turn around and leave but when I kept coming he had to bust out of there. I mean I was within 10 yards when he jumped out of his bed. Um, I'm gonna guess he's 140, 150 inch deer, super mature, um, sounded like a horse running away. Overall, it's a good day. I'm gonna head back home, I'll be home a little earlier than than I thought I would be. So I'm gonna get home and lay my stuff out to dry because everything is soaked and covered in Oklahoma black mud. So I'm gonna get home, edit this video up. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for week three. But other than that, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.